What is federated learning? Federated learning is a powerful technique that allows a single machine to learn from many different sources. It does this by taking the data, breaking it up into small chunks, and then sending those pieces of data to different machines for processing. Once the data has been processed, it is sent back to the original machine where it can be used for training. Federated learning uses streaming algorithms and stochastic gradient descent methods to process each chunk of information in parallel. This means that all the data can be processed at the same time, and it does not have to wait for the next chunk of data to arrive. Understanding the benefits of federated learning. The benefits of federated learning are. It is faster as it can train on more data at once. It is more efficient as it can train on data from different sources and use the best models for each source. It is more robust as it can train across a variety of platforms and hardware. How can companies benefit from federated learning? Businesses can benefit from federated learning in many ways. For example, they can use it to train their employees on new skills, to reduce training costs and to make their employees more productive. It is important for organizations to have a framework with which they are able to evaluate the performance of the learning outcomes that are achieved by their employees through federated learning. One way for companies to evaluate the performance of their employees is by evaluating them on a pass percentage. In order to do this, companies need to have an understanding of what they want their employees to learn, as well as how certain learning outcomes are relevant and essential for the company's future success. A comprehensive guide to exploring federated learning in detail. The most common use case for this type of machine learning would be data-intensive applications like speech recognition or natural language understanding. Another use case for federated learning would be when you need to train models on large datasets that cannot fit on one machine's memory. This could also include scenarios where you want to train models using data from many different sources, but each source only has limited data available. One example of where federated learning is applicable is in image classification. This technique allows images, either from a camera or computer, to be classified into multiple classes by breaking them up into different chunks and sending them off for processing. While some tasks might be best suited for humans, others might be better performed by computers. In federated learning, the AI learns from both human and machine data to provide the best experience. An example of this is a self-driving car. The AI on the car would learn from how well it drives in simulations, but also from how well people drive normally on open roads to provide a more realistic experience for drivers. How is it different than singleton learning? Although singleton learning and federated learning are both forms of machine learning, the differences between the two are significant. In a singleton learner, a single algorithm is trained on one machine. The data that the model takes in is fed into this algorithm to create an output. This output can either be used by other machines or aggregated into one machine. In contrast, in federator learning, multiple algorithms are trained on different machines. These algorithms can then share the data that they have collected to produce an output which is then used by other machines. Conclusion and final thoughts on federated learning. AI and ML are the future of education. With the help of AI and ML, we can make our education system more personalized and efficient. Federated learning is one of the ways that AI can help us achieve this goal. It will allow students to get personalized feedback on their work, which will allow them to learn at their own pace while still being able to compete with other students.